What's up, Shuan here and welcome to the Charlet Cut tutorial. Now the Charlet Cut, it forms the foundation for many other one-handed things in the future. So once you get this down, it's really going to help you out there. To start off, what is the Charlet Cut? It really is this. I hold the deck up, my index finger kicks the packet up, and then from there it goes over and it goes down. Now it seems pretty basic and a lot of people see it as a three-step kind of thing. So they see the Charlet Cut as drop, kick, snap, close. But that method doesn't give you a lot of control. So let me introduce the Charlet Cut to you in a slightly different way, and that's using four steps instead, which really smoothens it out. Watch. The four steps are drop a packet, kick it up, drop one packet, and drop the other packet. So instead of seeing it as just dropping it, kicking it out, and snapping it down, you're gonna break that last bit down into two steps so it becomes a much smoother process of this packet here going down first then the next packet following. Of course, when you actually do the cut, you're gonna eventually wanna do it in a nice flowing motion. You don't really wanna break it to one, two, three, four. But at the beginning, it really helps just zoom into every single detail, understand them, and use that to blend them into a single smooth chalet. Now, the chalet is not a difficult cut. It's actually pretty simple, but you have to get a few things right first, or else you're gonna be experiencing what a lot of other people experience, which is, oh, I'm stuck, this cut doesn't work. Oh, my hands are too small, the cuts are too big. There's, there's just no way I can do this, you know. Everybody in the world has bigger hands than me, and I give up. Now, the truth is that 99% of the time, it has nothing to do with your hand size. I've seen people with hands way smaller than mine who can do crazy one-handed cut things. So don't worry, get the details right, you will not have any hand size problems. Unless, of course, you're a baby. So before I teach you the exact mechanics of how to drop the packet, start like that. Instead of holding the deck in the high shadow grip in this flat position, you want to start with your wrist slightly tilted. See, it's a bit diagonal, it's not just flat like that. Now notice that at the beginning, when you hold it in high shadow, your thumb is contacting the entire side of the packet, the whole edge, like that. Nice grip. To drop the packet, you want to change the grip so that it only grips the upper half. How do you do that? 